Got to release fish properly if you want that river to remain healthy on the back cast. Sometimes it takes a good refresher to talk about and get some information about how to properly release fish. So I was out with Fred Rowe, who's the owner of Sierra Bright Dot, and we talked about the proper and appropriate way to release fish. So improper catch and release, I uh, caught this fish and just put them in the net, let them hang out for a little bit before I handle them. If I was going to take a picture of this fish, I would do that now. And we always want to handle it um, gently up front, hold it hard by the tail. It's totally fine. Get our picture, put him back in the net, let him catch his breath. And once we have the fish to the point that I think he's rusted and he doesn't want to just escape, I'll slide the hook right up. And again, I turn the fish upside down, the hook slides right out. Make sure the hook's out of the net. We're just going to let him sit here for a little bit until he calms down. He's still at that fright or flight point where he thinks he has to escape and he hasn't calmed down. When I let him go, I don't want to see him bolt away. I want to see him slowly swim away. And what I've been doing the last couple times out, just lowering the net. stuck in there. Come on. And there he goes. And that was a perfect release. Appreciate Fred Rowe going through that. He's the owner of Sierra Bright Dot. He guides in the Eastern Sierra on all sections of the Owens River, Lake Crawley, and other streams in the area. And he's a wealth of knowledge fun guy to be out there with and knows how to put you on fish. So let us know if you want to be put in touch with him. Just call, text, or email us and we'll do that. And we'll see you next time right here on The Backcast.